Good afternoon, and welcome to our 14th Monday Musical Meditation. It's a time to add some music to your time of prayer and a time of unity. Since it is 12 o'clock, let us begin by praying the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and to the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. And let us pray together. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into your hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the messenger of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And at this time, let us rejoice and sing. Let us trust in the Lord at all times. O oh, people, God is our refuge. God is our rock and our salvation. We shall not be shaken. Let all of those who put their trust in God rejoice. Let them shout for joy. Let us love his name and be joyful. Philippians 4, verse 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Hope during hard times. Trust in the Lord is a faith that helps us boldly serve God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself is my strength, my defense, my salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Today we are blessed to have as our guest cantor today, Bailey Hansen rejoins us again, and also does Sarah Stitchard, our camera person and director. Today's meditation. We all know that singing is praying twice. We all know about the goodness of the Lord. So let us put them together as Ernest Sand did as he composed the song, Sing of the Lord's Goodness. A popular and enduring jazz composition written by Paul Desmond, recorded by the Dave Brubeck Quartet in 1959 was called Take Five. People compare the feeling of the rhythm of Take Five to the feeling of the rhythm of sing of the Lord's goodness. Both are in a minor key and in quintuple, that's five, four, time. That's your music lesson for the day. Despite the minor key, the text is an exuberant hymn of thanksgiving. We sing, God is a good source of all wisdom, mercy, and unending love and faithfulness. We respond, sing and bless God's name. We sing, honor Jesus as the risen Christ who yielded power over death, celebrating new life and Holy Communion. We respond, sing and bless God's name. We should always sing of the Lord's goodness. So now let's listen to the powerful rhythm and the powerful words of sing of the Lord's goodness. Thank you. 
The late Father Peter Scotes wrote our next song while he was a parish priest at St. Benis on the south side of Chicago in the 1960s. At the time, he was leading a youth choir out of the church basement, and he was looking for an appropriate song for an ecumenical interracial event. When he could not find such a song, he wrote this one called, They'll Know We Are Christians By Our Love. Today, it is important that we sing they'll know we are christians by our love because it is a piece in the church efforts to get people to participate in singing and also in promoting discipleship now listen to they'll know we are christians In Joel 2, chapter 2, verses 12 to 13, we read, Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, weeping, and mourning. Rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love, and he relents from sending calamity. And in Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 4, we read, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. And Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Composer Bob Hurd takes these words from the Bible and uses the familiar sung tune called Kingsford, which some scholars claim to date back to the Middle Ages in England or in Ireland, and writes this hymn. We go to pray, and we go to fast with Christ into the wilderness. We join this paschal way, rend not your garments, rend your hearts. Turn back your lives to me. Now, the inspiring words of Led by the Spirit. Thank you. 
deep in the water, but in the Lord we shall arise. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. In John 4, verse 14, we read, But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water I shall give him shall be in him a well of water, springing up to everlasting light. Again, composer Bob Hurd, who composed the Mass of Glory, added a song for the sprinkling rite, which endorses this positive message. We'll go down deep in the water, but in the Lord we shall arise. Here is Come to the River. flesh keep silent is an ancient chant of Eucharistic devotion based on the words from Habakkuk 2 verse 20 let all the earth keep silence before him it is based on a prayer chanted by the priest when the bread and wine are brought to the table of the Lord this hymn is different we do not sing alleluia we do not sing praise the Lord here we are told to keep silence and stand with fear and trembling. The King of Kings, born of Mary, did not first come dressed in rich and royal garments of vel velvet and silk. He came to us and laid down his life for us so that we might live. 
We can only keep silence and with fear and trembling stand in the presence of our God and Savior, who gives himself to us in this heavenly feast. Let all mortal flesh keep silence. In the book of Philippians 2, verse 10, we read that all the name of Jesus, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and under the earth. This reference to these who are dead will one day bow to Christ and be raised from the dead. The understanding is also enhanced after looking at verse 11, which refers to every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. In the future, every being will bow before the Lord. The ultimate reward for the Lord Jesus Christ, who became the ultimate servant during his time on the earth. And now, at the name of Jesus. Every time. 
Peter said to Christians scattered throughout the Roman Empire, you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession. In Deuteronomy chapter 7, verses 6 through 8, we read, The Lord your God has chosen you to be a people for his treasured possession. It is because the Lord loves you and is keeping the oath he swore to your fathers. Revelations chapter 17, verse 14 reads, For he is the Lord of lords, King of kings, and those with him are called and chosen and faithful. In 1957, Bernadette Farrell wrote this song, God Has Chosen Me. Now Bailey will sing the hymn, and as she sings the hymn, remember, you are the chosen one. Though the origin of this song is somewhat in doubt, its message is clear. How can I keep from singing? This Christian hymn was written by American Baptist minister Robert Wadsworth Lowry. This song is also known as the traditional Quaker or Shaker hymn. While the song testifies that we are in God's hands, it does not ignore the fact that on earth we still grieve. We face tumult, we face strife. Yet in the midst of these griefs, the foundation of our lives is a different tune, a peaceful hope filled with song of faith. How can I keep from singing is the song in my heart. Oh, 
time again I would like to thank our guest Cantor for coming back and sharing her talents and gifts with us Bailey Hansen thank you very much and also special thanks to Sarah Stitchard our photographer and producer and don't forget that every Monday at noon we will publish our half an hour of Monday musical meditation for your musical entertainment now let us pray in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen, amen. God, you are my confidence and my blessed assurance. You are my rock of my salvation and my strength of my life. My hope rests in you, for you are my faithful. Shepherd us and the song that rejoices my heart. Be full of hope. Hope is forever. For God does not fail you. We know that God loves you during the midst of this pandemic. God's love is true to you now, as it was in your brightest moments. Rejoice even when passing through this furnace. Make the wilderness bloom like a rose. Cause the desert to ring with your exulting joy, for these light afflictions will soon be over. And God, at this special time of our lives, we pray that you remind us to pray for those who are causing frustrations, not to be angry with them. Help me to put the needs of others before my own. I pray that we'll use your church and our voices to advance your kingdom and to be examples of your great love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen.